why accidents should be reported and recorded within a workplace. Compilation of accident statistics and the identification of trends to meet legal requirements. So that an investigation can be carried out to prevent reoccurrence. Identify weaknesses in the management system for use in civil claims or to satisfy insurance requirements inform the review of risk assessments. Explain and meaning of benchmarking. Benchmarking is the process of comparing one's business processes and performance indicators to industry bests and or best practices from other industries. Dimensions typically measure dark quality, time, and cost and in health and safety accident rates, frequency rates etc. Effects on health from exposure to high levels of noise. Both permanent and chronic effects noise-induced hearing loss, caused by damage to the hair cells of the inner ear with reduced hearing capacity at particular frequencies, tinnitus and temporary effects such as temporary threshold shift, acute tinnitus, stress and fatigue, acute trauma such as a burst eardrum caused by exposure to sudden loud noise. How to minimize the risks to young employees a special risk assessment must be made before a young person is employed. This should help to identify the measures which should be taken to minimize the risks to young people. Additional supervision to ensure that they are closely looked after, particularly in the early stages of their employment. Induction and other training to help them understand the hazards and risk at their workplace. Do not allowing them to be exposed to extremes of temperature, noise or vibration. Do not allowing them to be exposed to radiation, or compressed air and diving work carefully controlling levels of exposure to hazardous materials so that exposure to carcinogens is as near zero as possible and other exposure is below the will limits. Do not allowing them to use highly dangerous machinery like power presses and circular saws, explosives mechanical lifting equipment such as forklift trucks etc. Restricting the weight that young persons lift manually to well below any weights permitted for adults. There should be clear lines of communication and regular appraisals. A health surveillance program should also be in place. Control measures of toxic chemicals Use of suitable containers for the chemicals carrying warning signs as to their danger the methods Used for handling the chemicals procedures for the cleaning up and containment of the spillages The provision of adequate ventilation for the working areas The use of personal protective equipment such as chemical proof gloves, eye protection and overalls Site rules setting out the hygiene procedures to be followed and prohibiting eating or smoking in the working areas. Setting up emergency procedures including first aid provision. Providing employees with instruction, information and training on the handling of toxic substances. Ensuring the provision of adequate supervision and monitoring. How this organization could reduce the risks to contractors before and during the building project? Initial selection of a competent contractor ensuring they had sufficient resources. Sufficient time to enable the work to be completed safely. Need to share information with the contractor on the particular risks in the working area for instance. The presence of vehicles including forklift trucks and the danger of falling materials sharing the location. Hazardous materials such as asbestos and the location of services such as electricity, water and gas. General site safety rules such as a smoking policy and reference to the host. Employer's safety policy. Requirements for permits to work for certain work activities. Accident reporting procedures, emergency procedures. Main contact on site informing them of the location of welfare facilities, including first aid. Coordination the contractor with regular monitoring of performance. 
ensuring the health and safety of organizations workers what are the issues employers should consult risk assessments personal protective equipment issues training issues introduction of any measure at the workplace that may substantially affect workers changes in the organizational structure competent persons to assist in complying with the health and safety requirements introduction of emergency procedures welfare issues introduction of policies on smoking alcohol and substances misuse what is the deterioration in health and safety culture of an organization the lack of leadership and commitment at senior level the lack of effective communication with the workers an inadequate level of supervision the suspicion of a blame culture time pressures with production overriding health and safety the lack of monitoring a failure to implement suggested remedial action the lack of consultation and workers involvement poor working environments high staff turnover and a reduction in staffing levels external influences such as downturn in the economy leading to a lack of investment and resources and a fear for job security please give comment and suggestions thank you subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates thank for visit our channel see you next class thank you